Johnny, congratulations, a demolition job of Gabriel Clements. Great your performance for us. Yeah, brilliant. I got out the blocks really fast, so um, I had to. I knew what kind of game I'd get because Gabriel's fantastic. I've played against Gabriel a few times on um, on the floor. Um, don't know what the stats are, but uh, listen, it's always a tough match, and um, I just try to concentrate on just get out to the blocks fast, and I think I've done my job. I'm not sure if you're watching in the practice room, but Gazi got him brawl. Was that something you didn't want to? Game the same, didn't want to follow suit, so it was kill him off as soon as possible. Yeah, well, God, it'd have been a late night if I'd gone to 5 all. So, um, <laughs> no, no, listen, it was a fantastic match that game before. We were both sat, me and Gabriel sat in the practice room, you know, waiting to go on, and just leg and leg were going past, and it was getting longer, and we were just thinking, well, God, are we going to play tonight or not? But, listen, I, you know, I've done my job, and, I, and that's it. What's your preparation like when your match gets moved? Because you're meant to be last on, then early afternoon you find out there's only two games. How does that change your mindset? Well, lucky enough for me, I was last on, so I had that extra time really. So when we got the call that we were on a game earlier, you know, I think all the pressure on the game before us, not us. So um, we still had that time. So it was no different to me really. It was just coming over to the, to the venue an hour earlier two ton plus averages in both your games. You sent a statement out to the rest of the field saying the ferret means business? No, I just try to play darts and um, you know, I can do it so hopefully it carries on until the end. Your record in the World Championship isn't the best as, as you are now and you spoke about in the build up to it. Now you've gone further than you've been. Is that another one just a little tick off, tits off the box? I know Joe Cullen spoke last year about getting the monkey off his back. Do you feel sim similar to that? Yeah, obviously. Thanks for reminding me on that. <laughs> but no, but genuinely, it's always in the back of your mind. Obviously, it's all. But you still go out to play that game, and if it's your day, it's going to be your day, and you get past which it was today. And hopefully, I can carry on marching on. This little section you're in is an absolute bloodbath. Michael Smith next, but all eyes and everyone's talking about that potential all Welsh showdown. <laughs> How do you put that to your back of your mind and just concentrate on the next one? I've got to pass Michael Smith. That game is going to be massive. Um, I need to beat Michael. The way Michael's playing, it's going to be... I think it's going to be a belt and the best man wins, to be honest. And, you know, Gezi's obviously got to do his job. And if we both get past our games, we'll meet in the, last, in the quarters. So, um... I'm not thinking of that, to be honest. I'm thinking about Michael, because that's a tough one. That win puts you into the top six in the world as now. I know it's something that you, you, you keep an eye on. Next stop, top four? Yeah, hopefully. I'd love, you know, listen, I'd love to be world number one. But I, <laughs> it's like everybody else. We all chase a dream. And I'm still in this tournament to pick my dream up, and I'll be that fourth at the end of it. Johnny, many congratulations. Thank you, Far. Thank you.